my two viewers. Here is tonight's video. So a circular mat. So I like drawing things out. It kind of helps me see things. Um, let's see. So it's a mat. Okay. And diameter is 53. And that's all I need to know. Um, somebody wants to draw something around this particular mat, right? So how much centimeters, um, how long does it have to be? Well, wow, guys. C equals pi D, C equals 53 times pi, right? It's because the diameter is 53, and they want this, so they don't want this in terms of pi. What is it, centimeters, by the way? So if we change this, 53 times pi, where's pi? Enter. And to the nearest hundreds, she's going to need 166.50 centimeters of whatever is it that she's making. Okay, two. All right, so metal worker is working, and there's a so um, the large semicircle has diameter of 28. The small circle here you can see has a diameter of 14. Find a distance around the shape. All right, so imagine again. I hopefully you want. I want this. So I need it's that's a half a circle, right? Um, so I'm gonna call it half of the big circle. Right? It's half of the circumference of the big circle. Plus that 14. And that one's done for you. So that's what we do. Plus half the circumference of that circle. Half of the small circle, half the circumference of the small circle. So the big circle, um, C equals pi D, and the big circle, the diameter is 28. So this whole thing is a diameter, so C equals 28 pi. We're going to divide it by 2, right, because we're not interested in the circle, the whole, we're not interested in this whole circle, we're inter interested in half circle. So if you divide that by 2, you get 14 pi, and just let's leave it as 14 pi for right now. I'll make whatever changes in a second. So this is 14 pi. I might be writing like that, right? Half the circumference of the big circle. Now, then, so you took your dog, and I don't know, I just picked green. You took your dog, and you walked in from here, all the way here. That you already walked 14 pi centimeters. Then. You're going to walk, continue walking, you add the 14 centimeters, and then you're going to walk this with your dog, the last one, half the circumference of that smaller circle. Well, the smaller circle, uh, C equals pi, and what's the diameter of that smaller circle? The diameter of that smaller circle is 14. C equals 14 pi centimeters, and we're going to divide that by 2 because I'm not interested in the circumference of the whole thing. So C equals 7 pi centimeters. Well, I'm going to have to add this, plus this, plus that. So let me change 14 pi for 14 times pi, and notice that I can't speak. Uh, it's 43.98, right? So that's big, this is 14, 43.98, plus 14, which is from here to here. And now half of the circumference, and 7 times pi equals enter. 21.99. Okay, so I have everything I need. 43, mm -hmm. 43 point 98 plus 14 plus 21.99. Oops, and I did everything wrong. Blah, 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 14 plus 21.99. I should be golfing right now, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm not. 79.97 centimeters. So that's the distance around this shape. So basically you did, you found the circumference of the big circle, you cut it divided by two, find the circumference of this smaller circle, you divide it by two, and you added 14 to that. Not what I would say the hardest task in your life. Again, so again, you're talking a dog, and you're gonna walk around this shape. So this right here in green, let's do that in green. That is a quarter of a circle, the quarter, the circumference of the circle. So if you drew a circle, that part right here would be from here to here. Right, so that's a quarter circle. Quarter, sorry, quarter, fourth, a fourth of a 
the circumference of the circle. So we don't want the distance around the whole circle, we just want a fourth of it. Okay, so let's find out what the fourth. Well, imagine for a second. So let me draw that circle. So let me draw that portion of it. So this is the portion I'm interested in, right? That distance. But if you drew the whole circle, let me draw the whole circle. Apparently, they tell us that this from here to here is the radius, which is 60, which means the diameter that goes, it's a line that goes all the way to the other side. Well, the other side has to be 60. So the diameter is 120. And that's the information I needed. So C equals pi D. C equals 120 pi. But again, 120 pi, whatever, centimeters, whatever this is, would be the distance around the whole circle. But I'm not interested in the whole circle. I'm interested in one fourth of it, right? The distance, just this distance. So that, I'm going to divide that by four. So 30 pi. So this, and we're, we're going to change, we'll multiply it, we'll change that. Later. That's 30 pi. Okay. Now let's focus on the red. The red is half of this circle. So focus on the circle. So let me draw that out. So here's, here's the half a circle. And there's a line here that goes like that. Well, that, by the way, is also the radius, right? So if this is 60, that's also 60, which in this case is going to be diameter, the diameter of the small circle. So that's 60, right? So again, I'm not interested in the full circle. I'm just interested in this segment right here. So let's find out what this full circle is. Well, c equals pi times d. The diameter is 60. So c equals 60 pi. If I divide that by 2, that's 30 pi. So I'm going to write 30 pi over here. So if you take a dot, your dog for a walk, that's 30 pi, this is 30 pi, and then this is 60 inches, the last part. Right? You're talking the last part here, we don't have to do anything with it. So that's 60 inches. So let's add 30 pi, the green part, plus 30 pi, the red part, plus 60 inches, which is the black part. Oh, we gotta change 30 pi to a more acceptable number that we can add. So it's 94.25 rounded plus 94.25 rounded because it's the same value, right? And then plus 60. So to take a lap around that particular shape, 94.25 plus 94.25 plus 60, and our total is 248.5. Right. Uh, can I make this a little bit? So the circumference of the moon, we're looking for the circumference of the moon. So I'm going to draw the moon. There's a circumference, and we'll call this the moon. It's approximately the distance around the circle with a radius. Right, so this circumference. So if you were on the moon and you're going to walk around, right, um, and that distance is the same thing as a circle that has a radius of 1,736 kilometers. Well, if that's the radius, the diameter is. Well, this other thing would be, this other part, sorry, would be also 1,736. So 1,736 times 2, so the diameter is 3,472. So that's the diameter, and I'll put R car. So let's find the circumference. So circumference equals pi times d. Circumference equals pi, and the diameter is 3,472. And they want us to multiply that by pi times pi, enter, and the circumference is 10,907.61, let's say unit kilometers. So if you want to walk around the moon, it's only 10,907.61 kilometers. One day you might be able to. Hey, so, well, we did something like this in class, so I hope you see a half a circle. All right, so let me just hopefully draw this out. This is a half of a circle. That's the bottom part. All right. So 
let's find a circumference of half of the circle. Well, circumference equals pi times d. What's the diameter of this the big circle? Well, the diameter, well, we, well, this is the center, O is the center, and one side is, one radius is 5.2, the other one obviously is 5.2, so the diameter is 10.4. So C equals 10.4 times pi. And we're going to leave it like that for now. Um, actually, we can, let's leave it for now. Uh, what is it, centimeters, inches. Okay, so again, let's say you took your dog and you're walking from 9 o'clock all the way to 3 o'clock. Okay. What would be this distance cover? Well, C equals pi D, 10.4 pi inches would be this whole thing, a, a walk around the whole circle, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in, in half of it. So it's going to be 5.2 times pi inches. I'm going to leave it in terms of pi for now. So, this 5.2 inches, 5.2 pi inches. Okay. Now we gotta walk and uh, continue walking your dog, and you're gonna walk the, your dog this half a circle of a tiny circle, and this other circle. Now notice that these two form a circle, right? So you don't have to divide anything. It's just calculate. so the blue one. So let me put those two, that one and this one. It forms a circle where the diameter is 5.2. C equals pi d, C equals 5.2 pi, right? Because centimeter, inches, by the way. Ta-da! Now we, all you have to do is that. So let's change what 5.2, 5.2 times pi is 16.33, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna multiply by two, because the other one is also 5.2, right? So our final answer, so let me, this is also 5.2 pi, 5.2 pi, right? This whole blue section is 5.2 pi. So we're adding, let me change colors here. So we're adding 5.2 pi, or just multiply 5.2 pi times two. And we get 32.67 inches. So if you were to walk your dog all around this, you would get 32.67 inches. Six. Okay, so there are certain things. So again, we have a half a circle, and then here we have a quarter of a circle. That's it. So uh, the shape is made of seven. I find the length of the wire. Part of our, okay. So this is her artwork. So this two, this this section here is twelve. This section here is twelve, right? So twelve plus twelve. We got to figure out what this quarter of a circle is, which is, I'll put it in blue, so I'm going to put it like that, this is a quarter circle, and then in red, uh, let's see, in black, this is half a circle. Well, let's take care of the quarter circle first. Right. So in the quarter circle, right, so imagine this is a quarter circle, oh, try to make it a little better. So the blue part represents that quarter circle. So it's a quarter, a fourth of a circle. Why can't I do this? Correctly? Sorry. Quarter circle, right? That's the blue part right there. Now, it says here that the radius, so imagine this is the center of the circle. This is 12, which means the other half here is 12, which makes the diameter, okay, 24. So this quarter circle is part of a circle whose diameter is 24. So C equals pi D. C equals, sorry, that D is small pi times d, the diameter, and pi is 24, sorry, diameter is 24, so c plus 24 pi. But again, we're not interested in this whole circle, we're interested in the fourth of it, so divided by four. So the distance, that quarter circle, is, what is it? Six pi. So this blue part is six pi, and I might as well just change that. Um, And that is 18 or 18 or 18.85 centimeters. 18.85 centimeters. I'm going to add a grid over here. Okay. 18.85 centimeters. So we're adding 12, the straight line 12, plus 18.85, which is a quarter circle, plus this 12. And now we got to do this bottom half circle, right? So the bottom half, it's half of a circle. 
circumference, half of the circumference of the circle, which I apparently can't draw. There we go. And what do we know about this? What's the diameter? Well, they give us that this is 12, so that's 12, obviously. This is 12, which makes the diameter 24. Right? So C times pi times D. C equals 24 pi, and again, we're interested in half of it. We're not interested in the full circumference. So if you divide it by 2, the, circumference of the part of the circumference that we're interested in is 12 pi. So this part right here equals 12 pi, or, oops, 12 pi, or, and that equals to 37.70. 37.7 uh, centimeters. So let me write 37 .7 centimeters. So we have all our four parts. The 12 plus 12 plus 18.65 plus 37.7 centimeters. You guys can figure out the rest. Here's a tire. has a radius of 10.5. How many revolutions does, he, does, does the tire need to make to, for, the, for it to travel 13,200 inches? Okay, so let's find a circumference. So, so if the if the radius is 10.5, if the radius is 10.5, we know that the diameter is double that, so it's 21 inches, right? So the diameter, change colors here, sorry. The diameter, this diameter, is double the radius, which is 21 inches. So circumference is pi times d. Circumference is 21 pi inches. So every time this particular tire spins, it travels 21 pi. Oh, sorry. 21 pi, enter, 21 pi is 65.97 inches, rounded, okay? For every time this tire does one revolution, it travels this much in distance. So how many revolutions does it take to travel this much? Um, and again, you guys can figure that out. And that gives you 200.0, 200 revolution, 200.01 oh, 200 revolutions to cover 65.97 inches. Okay. okay, so eight has to deal with a sh uh, with a shape that's under here. There's a running track. Okay, it looks like a big football field. This. And find the length of the running track. Okay, so let's run. There we go. So notice that we have half a circle here and half a circle there. So you know that those two halves make one full circle. So the circumference of the circle is pi times d, right? So this diameter is 64 that's given to us. So 64 pi is our circumference. So just to, so a jogger who's running from here goes all the way to here, right, and completes the other side as well. It's going to travel 64 pi, which again, I am going to change uh, 64 pi into 64 pi is equal to 201.06 rounded. Plus, so that covers these two blue parts. And of course, we don't can't forget that he also runs this part, which is 100, and he runs this part, which is 100 as well. And that would be a whole lap, so it's about, so it's what, 401.6? Okay. Uh, um, okay, so an athlete ran, ran around the track one time, an average 8 meters per second, so this is in meters, by the way, so... What was the answer? I'm going to go back. 401. Oh, you guys can figure that out. So, the total was 4106, right? So, the total, so the, 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 the length of the track is 4106 meters. So, 401. 0.06 meters and divided by 8 so it takes me about 50 seconds 50.13 seconds to cover the whole track okay. that was it wow pretty simple